and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a monthly budget report in Excel. I will explain how you can track your income and expenses, visualize your expenses by categories, and use this information to manage your budget better. In the monthly budget table, you can select the month and year like this. As you select different months, the report reflects the information for that specific month. Summary tables and charts will help you analyze your income and expenses more easily. You can use this report a month by month basis. As you add in entires to the income and expenses page, they will automatically be reflected in the report. The formulas are designed to update based on new entries. For example, let's add, let's add an additional income entry for June. I will enter additional income 2 on the monthly budget page. Then I will go to the income page and select the new income. As you can see, the new entry is automatically listed in our income page. Now I am entering the date. Next, I will input the estimated and actual amounts. Now, we can go back to the monthly budget page. When we select June, you can see that the additional income entry has been added to our table. Similarly, expense categories are also selected from a list like this. You can also add a new categories from the main page. This way, you can reflect different sources in your table. Before we dive into the details of the project, you can access this template from the description box below. I will share the link there, so let's continue with the video and take a closer look at how to, how to create it. You can view your report on a single page by using the full screen mode. If you want to make edits, you can show the ribbon. First, I will show you how to enter your income and expenses into the Excel table. Our first page contains the income table. Let's open our blank template. Under the income heading, we have the following columns, category, date, estimated, and actual. Let's take a look at how to enter data here. First, we need to create a list selection to enter data under the income headings. We will get this form, we will get this from the main page. Let's select the cells then go to the data tab and choose data validation here i will select list and go to the monthly budget page to choose the categories from the income table i'm also selecting the empty cells so we can add entries later now i will click ok as you can see we can now enter data in all rows. When we make a new entry on the main page, I enter it like this. As you can see, it's now reflected in the list. You can fill in the date, estimated, and actual columns according to the actual situation. We will quick copy this from our template. Then we will do the same for the income page. I select the cells, open data validation and choose list from the main page. This way we can select the categories. Let's bring in the information from the previous table as we did with the expenses section. Now we can move on to the monthly budget page Let's first, let's, let's first examine the data section. We created this using the list method 
just like with the income and expense categories. You can create a selection for 10 years and 12 months. At the bottom, let's first show how to income table is populated according to the month selection. Here we will use the filter formula. We will filter column D in the income page according to the monthly selection. I type equal filter and go to the income page to select column D. I adjust it as column D. After comma, I add the income page D column and big little sign then question marks. This will filter out valid dates. It will look at occupied cells. Then, to convert the dates into the reported months, we will use the text formula. We have covered the filter and text formulas in our previous videos or shorts. For more detailed information, you can check out those videos. I type text. I select column D from the income page again and fix it. After the comma, I want to find the months as text, so I write 4M in a question, question marks and close the parentheses. I type equal J3 and fix it again. Now let's hit enter. As you can see, it brought, it brought in the date values for that mount. Now let's drag it to the right to reflect the other headings. This way we have brought in the other headings as well. Let's do the same for the expense table. I copy the formula from the top row and replace income with expense. Now I hit enter and drag it to the right. As you can see, our values are reflected according to the selection. As you change the month selection, the values automatically update in this way. Our next step is summary table. Here we summarize the total income, expenses and savings for that month. We will see our total savings for the for that month. First, let's go to the estimated expenses cell and type equal sum. I select the, the cells and hit, hit the enter. When I move to the right, the formula will automatically adjust. This way we have also found the total actual amount. Let's write the formula for these expenses amounts as well. I type sum and select the values from the expense table. After hitting enter, I drag the formula to the right. As you can see, we have reflected these values in our summary table. Let's take a short break, break at, at this point in, in this video. If you like the video, Please remember to like it and subscribe to my channel. Your support help us create more content. Now let's calculate the savings. We will do this with a simple formula. I type equal income expense and enter. I copy the formula to the other cell. As you can see, we have calculated both the estimated and actual savings. Now let's create a column chart based on this table. I select the data, go to the insert tab and choose column chart. Let's remove the title. Let's adjust the position and size of the legend. Also adjust the plot area. This part might take some time because it requires fine tuning. 
Finding the visual design or colors you want to use may take some time. I will make a quick adjustment. Let's change the column colors to be illustrative. I'm selecting from the color stones of the template I prepared earlier. Lastly, you can format the axis from here. You can change the lower and upper bones and increase or decrease the intervals. We have created our budget summary charts in this way. Finally, let's also show our expenses by category using a pie chart. We need the actual values for this. In the expense table first, I select the expense categories and then the actual expense values while holding down the CTR key. I go to the insert tab, select charts and then choose pie chart. Let's remove the chart title again. Let's move the legend to the right. Then let's format the data series and adjust the donut hole size. I'm increasing the thickness to make it more pronounced. I have adjust in this way. Now let's adjust the main chart size. Let's play it into our table. Next, I will go to the each series and adjust the fill colors. I format each one like this. Then I go to the fill colors and make selections in different shades. In our first template, we had different shades of colors. Now I'm choosing different tones of the colors we used again. You can also use hexademical codes from color palettes to adjust them to according to the tones you want. Finally, let's adjust the data labels. I only want to show them as percentages here. After selecting the percentage, I format the font to be white and bold. In some color tones, the percentage may not appear clearly. You can adjust the color tones accordingly. You can also enlarge the plot area and adjust the size again. We have now completed our table. You can create your monthly budget reports in this way and even improve this template by adding your own charts and summary tables. In future videos, we will also cover different templates and dashboards. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to mention it it in the comment section. You can also visit the Patreon link in the description box to access the ready made template. This format we have prepared is a budget format that you can use annually. Year values have been added to appear in the table. There is no indication by year in the filter formula. Therefore, you can switch to the new format when you create the next, next year. We have reached the end of the, our video thank you for the watching if you like this video please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel also feel free to leave your feedback or any other excel related questions in the comment section see you in the next video goodbye